Hello guys, Warfare here. Welcome to Warfare Outdoors. Today, in a continuation to the how-to series I'm going to start, I'm going to teach you how to make and construct a minnow trap free. And all you need is a, something big, jet like this, that you can buy these at Royal King. They're fairly cheap. I don't know how much they cost. Really. You need, you could either use a pure leaf bottle for a longer funnel, a water bottle, or personally, I prefer the power rate or Gatorade bottle. So let's get started. So, first thing you're going to do is lay this over here. Forget about it. Then, you're just going to take your. Make sure to get all these dents out of it. Shouldn't matter. And then, see right here? Do this first line right there. Camera's over there. Right there. Just want to take your knife. Hook your stab right through it and just cut on that line. So. It's a terrible sound. Get that dent out. Then you just uh Yep, that's all you need, because all you need is you. And then you just remove the cap here. God damn. Put that over there, and you need to take your cap and flick it over there. You don't need that right now. So once you get your, so once you have your thing cut, it should, see it, it acts like a funnel here. Fish will swim, the minnows, or crawdads, this will work on crawdads, you will swim right in here. Come through here and go in your trap. Now crawdads, if you you need to leave it your trap overnight in water. And what they do is they come in here and then they fall down here because you set it down sideways, and then they can't reach that way. If you leave it overnight, unfortunately your minnows will it's a little bigger hole and they will just swim right back out. If you come back three hours later after you put some cat food or some bread in there, you should have a trap ton of minnows. And I'm gonna prove to you that this method works. And part two of this video will be setting this trap out, or uh, going to get the trap and showing you the results. So this shouldn't be too long, it should be, it literally should take like five minutes to make this. So once you've done that, take your lid here, see the score right there, you can see the, like the, see this little notch right there, look it's white right there. You take your knife tip right here, you're just going to, one is over there, one over here, one down, and one up. Like that. Then, you're going to take this, you're just going to cut it a little bit bigger. Not too big so this was like falls out easily. Just enough so you can squeeze it in there like that. That just goes in there like that. And then what? what? Yeah. If you get it in a certain way. That puppy ain't going out. It ain't coming out. Well I guess if you check it really hard it'll come out. Kind of like spoon loaded, like them things when I come back up. So basically, I'm just gonna shove it in there like that. Then you, personally, I'd like to prefer. I find puddles, and I know it's not gonna rain, so this won't wash away. And then I just sink it right there, and then I come back and go in there, and get it. But I mean, if you don't want to get wet, you could just tie a string to it and then attach it to the bank. Just tie a string around it. But this method will work, and then. You just put your put your cat food or bread down here. Just put it in the water. Come back. You got your minnows. Best thing about this is instead of those bottles that people use them two liters and have to cut them open or they're very hard to get minnows out. You just uh, and now you have all that space to just reach in there and grab anything you want. And just simply put it back on, snaps on, 
right, you're good to go. Same thing I'm going to do with this check, and then we'll set them both out. But I won't show you that because that's all you need to know. Literally, all you need to uh, have is a jug like this, a powery bottle or pure leaf bottle, a knife, and a will to go get minnows. Yep, that's all you need. I'm Morshu. Thanks for coming to the channel. This has been a continuation of the how to series. Look forward to more, like maybe using a milk jug to make out a turtle trap or a cane pole. Make good films because turtle season is right around the corner. I'll show you how to do that. But until then, take care, Joe Bus. I'm Morphine, and I'm gone.